No one knows what's happened at the Our Lady of Strangis Hospital. A terrible disease is spreading through the floors, and it's been put to quarantine. Rumors say that it's a lethal experimental virus outbreak. The Ministry of Health has, in extremis, promised a tenure contract to the researcher that finds a cure. As an underemployed molecular virologist working at Starbucks, this is your chance to a non-grant dependent job in science. So you're gonna do whatever it takes. Great, the cellular transfection has worked. In a couple of days, I'll have enough viruses to... Oh, hi. Welcome on board. You caught me here in the lab working on a virus. The most contagious card game. Virus is a competitive card filler for two to six players in which you will turn into pre-doctoral students working to find the cure to a dangerous experimental virus outbreak. Since it's a very simple game, we've only made one tutorial, this one, for both the owner of the game and for new players. If you want to know more about the game itself, watch our review. You have the link in the video description. Let's see how it's played. Shuffle all the cards well, deal three to each player, and leave the rest on the center of the table creating a draw pile. Leave space for a discard pile. We're going to look at a three player game. Players will play cards face up on the table in the space in front of them, known as their body. I've represented them with dissection trays. The game objective is to be the first player to complete a body with four different healthy organs. Healthy organs are organs free of virus, so that includes plain organs with no medicine cards, vaccinated organs with one medicine card, and immunized organs with two medicine cards. A game is played in turns that occur in a clockwise manner. During a turn, a player can do one and only one action among these two. Play a card and discard cards. Play a card. Play a card from your hand, face up, onto your body on the table, or on an opponent's. These are all the cards you can play. Organs, medicine, viruses, wild cards, and treatments. Organs. Organ cards have a heart icon. If you play an organ, place it in front of you. Organs are sorted by type and color. You can only have one organ of each type. So you cannot place another heart in your body if you already have one in play. You could place an organ in another player's body, but why help them out? Medicine cards have a pill icon. Medicine is used either to protect a healthy organ and act as a shield, or to destroy a virus on a sick organ. Both cards are then discarded. Medicine cards can only be played on cards with matching colors. When two medicine cards are played on an organ, the medicine cards are rotated 90 degrees and the organ is said to be immunized. Immunized organs are immune to future virus attacks. Virus cards have a virus icon. Viruses are either used to infect a healthy organ or to destroy a medicine card acting as a shield on a healthy organ. Both cards are then discarded. Virus cards can only be played on cards with matching colors. When two virus cards are played on an organ, the organ and the virus cards are discarded. This is a wild virus card. It can infect an organ of any color destroy medicine of any color, and likewise, if found already infecting an organ, it can be destroyed with medicine of any color. This is a wild medicine card. It can be used to protect an organ of any color, destroy a virus card of any color, and likewise, it can be destroyed with a virus card of any color. This is a wild organ card. This organ is played as an extra organ, different to the bone, brain, heart and stomach. Your body can actually have all five organs at the same time, and as soon as four of them are healthy, you will win the game. Wild organ cards can be treated with medicine of any color, and can be infected with virus cards of any color. Something you need to be clear about is what you're attacking during your turn. Is it an organ, medicine, or virus? If you were to vaccinate this organ, any medicine could work. And to immunize it again, any medicine could work. If you were to attack an opponent's wild organ card, any virus could work. And if it were already infected, any virus could work. However, if you were to cure this infected wild organ, which card could you use to cure it? That's right, options B and C, because you're attacking the virus card. Treatment cards. Treatment cards have a cross icon. There's five of them. Organ theft. As the icon shows, you take an organ from another player's body and add it to yours. 
This organ, however, can't be immunized. Remember also that you can't have two organs of the same type. So you can't steal an organ that you already have in your body. Transplant. As the icon shows, choose any two bodies and swap two organs. These can be of any color. Like with the organ theft, immunized organs can't be transplanted. And bodies can't end up with two organs of the same type. Medical error. As the icon shows, swap your body with another player's body. When you do so, you will swap everything. Plain organs, infected organs, vaccinated organs, even immunized organs. It does not matter how many cards a player has. As a matter of fact, you can swap an empty body. Spreading or contagion. As the icon shows, take all virus cards infecting your organs and transfer them to other players' organs. But these new receptors cannot be immunized, vaccinated, or infected. So you can only send these viruses to organs that are free of medicine and viruses. Latex glove. As the icon shows, the latex glove forces all other players to discard their hand. Draw three new cards, and then the player that played the latex glove plays another turn. The other action you can choose to take is to discard any number of cards from your hand. At the end of your turn, whether you played one card or discarded several, you will draw cards to replenish your hand back to three cards. The game ends automatically as soon as a player has four healthy organs in his body. Well, that's it. That was our tutorial of this fun virus. If you want more details on the game itself, here's the link to our review. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And to be the first to find out about our new uploads, subscribe to the channel and click that bell. Lastly, if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, or petitions, leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Games on board. We do the reading. You do the playing.